My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Oh, we've got a real honey for you right here. 1956 Chevy Bel Air, built in California, ground up restored, detailed, dialed in, zero rust ever. It's all original metal, born these colors. Beautiful car. I can't wait to tell you all about this one. Visit volocars.com if you'd like to read all the specs, look at pictures top to bottom, and that's where you'll find the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you click on that bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, it would be my pleasure to take you for a spin in this 56 Chevy Bel Air. It has the letters VC right in the VIN number. That means it's a Bel Air V8. This car was built in California, lived out west all of its life. Uh, comes from a really good seller. The seller I got this from, he's very meticulous. He goes through his cars front to back. He's as honest as they can be. Uh, so this car is turnkey, ready to drive and enjoy. Uh, he's also the one that told me it's zero rust. He wrote it right in the email. I have it in writing. Uh, original metal. And he knows what he's looking at. I looked at the same car, and I would have to agree. Uh, it really dry, clean metal. So underneath the car has been restored. Uh, all that dry, clean, original metal was just prepped and painted black. So it's nice original floors with the ribs and the, the rockers and pinch welds, all real nice. The chassis is real nice. The front end was all rebuilt. Restoration is about 10 years old, but not driven very much. Uh, so the front end's all rebuilt. The power steering uh, pieces down there uh, look like they're new. Uh, the brake system's been completely overhauled. New brake lines, new hoses. Uh, the emergency brake cable system. There's levers and all sorts of stuff that's involved with that. It's all there and hooked up. You look up at the motor, it's clean. Uh, these old motors had the canister type oil filter, which this has. Uh, starters clean. It has a power glide automatic transmission. Uh, from what I could tell, it is dated to this car. Um, that was rebuilt during the restoration. Uh, the rear end is, it looks like it was a part. All the bolts are, you know, clean and the, the unit is like in primer like it's supposed to be. The housing's done in black. Uh, it's got 330, you no, know, 355 gears in it. That's, and that is the original rear end. The stamp and the codes and the dates match this car. Uh, fuel system was replaced, so the tank, the straps holding the tank, sending unit, all that's redone. Genuine stainless steel exhaust. People tell me stainless all the time, and usually it's not, but this is actually a stainless steel exhaust system front to back, so that should last forever. It's got the big mufflers, uh, so no flow masters, nothing like that. Just a nice stock uh, restoration. The body's amazing. This paint's 10 years old. It looks like it just came out of the paint booth. This car is straight. I went around it before we started here. I couldn't find a bubble or a blister. The gaps are just right on, smooth everywhere. Factory paint code uh, colors. It's Matador Red and Adobe Beige. The doors got the little flippers. And the door is just shut so nice. I got to do that again. If you watch my videos, you know I'd like that. Uh, and the trim is just shiny. All this stainless. I don't know if it's all new or what, but even the little black in here, all the stainless all around everywhere is straight and polished and shiny. It has the stone guards on the fenders, has rocker molding trim, has the fingernail guards by the door handles. All this chrome is beautiful. And look at this big bumper guard. This whole upper section is called the bumper guard, and that's optional. And all of this is sparkling. It has T3 headlamps. That would be what they came with originally. You know, the bird, the emblem, all that's redone. The hood fits really well. Rare to find a 56 or 7 where the hood bars line up. All of this lines up. Correct antenna. 
windshield's crystal clear. The rubber gasket is soft. The chrome uh, pillar here, all the chrome around the windows, all beautiful. It's tinted glass. All real nice. So the outside of the car is excellent. The tail lights just sparkle. I mean, they glisten. It has optional reverse lights. All this is redone. It has the exhaust extensions, they call it. Those are the exhaust tips. Uh, those were an option. For those of you who don't know where to put gas, that's where it goes. 56 Chevy tail light opens up. The interior is all redone, matches the exterior. It's got real nice uh, firm seats, uh, the chrome piping, uh, new door panels, has the perforated headliner and visors, the dome light works, has the really uh, tight uh, weave uh, carpet. That's all the correct carpet. Uh, Carpet's a little, little dirty, and maybe that will clean up better. Probably will. The dash. When I sat in this car, I, I literally said, wow, the dash is gleaming. It, it's painted as slick as the outside and all the chrome. I mean, around the heater controls, the knobs, it's sparkling. Original 265 motor, been rebuilt. It's a power pack, so it has the four barrel. And another wow when I open this up. It's all smooth, uh, glossy, uh, the right glass bowl filter, the right uh, clamps, uh, cap. It has factory power steering on the back of the generator. Electric wipers that came vacuum. Electric was optional. It's got rubber floor mats, has seat belts. Uh, the clock has quartz movement. It is a Wonder Bar radio, and it's been rebuilt and upgraded with modern internals. I know it's an FM. Don't know if it has any, like, plug-ins or not. Trunk compartment, super clean. This is a white wall tire, never been used. This, the rim is repainted. The whole jack assembly is cleaned up and painted. It's all there. Uh, we got the right rubber mat. The latch looks new, the rubber, everything's really, really nice in the trunk. There is a crack in the rubber mat right here. Uh, the wiring through the whole car is new also. If you look up under the dash, the heater box, all that's real clean. Steering wheel's new. Does have a gauge cluster so you don't have to rely on the idiot lights. It actually tells you your temperature and oil pressure and that sort of thing. But all the metal inside, the rear tray everything is super nice back in here again everything i'm looking at the the hinges the springs the master cylinder the wiper motor the coil the bracket uh, all of it's really nice it has the horns let's start it up wow <laughs> beautiful inside that just runs spot on. You know, each car goes through our shop for an initial inspection, and then when the car sells, it goes through the shop for a second inspection where they really catch everything. But we're so busy, some of the little stuff they let go in the beginning. Last couple videos I did, I was embarrassed we had a headlight out. So I, I was asked, so we're going to have another headlight out? And I said, not with this car. The owner of this car is way too fussy to bring me a car with a headlight burned out. And uh, I just turned them on, and yet yeah, they're all working. Point I'm making, this car is dialed in. It's ready to go. Quartz movement in the clock, the high beam indicator is working, gas gauge is working. If you want one of the best. This is one of the exceptional cars. Love it. Uh, you got it right here. There's nothing to apologize for. Nothing at all. 
This is my impression of this car. If you have specific concerns or questions, go to volocars.com. That's where you can speak to the salesman. They'll answer any of your questions about the car. They'll make the whole process easy, the shipping, the financing, the paperwork. Uh, they'll help you with all that. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next video posted. Thanks for watching.